What's up, Madden fans? Welcome back to another Madden 16 video, guys. Today we're showing off the new draft champions mode. We're going to do a little head-to-head -head draft uh, play here. We're going to draft our team, and then we're going to play against our head-to-head uh, -head player here. So we're just going to select draft now. We're going to hop into this draft ma champions mode, and we're going to show you a little gameplay here. Uh, first and foremost, I like to pick defensively, so I'll probably tend to lean that way. Um, and one of the things I look for on defense is hit power. I really value it. And uh, they kind of live and die by it. So I'm going to throw Vontez Burbage in. I think he's a really good computer uh, linebacker. Next here, we've got Cliff Averill as an option. Uh, I've got his 94 finesse move really nice, 90 acceleration. Uh, or I can take James Harrison, who has 91 hit power, better strength, not quite as good speed, but I'm going to probably put James Harrison down at defensive end. Uh, and 90, 74 block shadowing, I don't really know how that's going to fare. But it's a little better than Cliff Averill. Or I could get this Gibson dude, but he doesn't have good hit power. I'm probably going to, but he does have 93 zone coverage. Uh, I really like that 93 zone coverage, uh, but I'm going to have to go with James Harrison on this one. So I'm going to take James Harrison. We'll see who I get next here. we got Justin Tuck. Uh, Kiko Alonso. I really like Kiko Alonso. He's got that 85 zone coverage. Just to really kind of complete and seal my linebacking core. Uh, like I said, I got James Harrison, Vontez Burford, Lance Briggs. Uh, really decent linebacking core so far. I don't have a corner. Uh, by corners, I really want to get the good zone covering corners. So I'm going to hold off from that for now. But I love Justin Tuck's 89 acceleration with a combination with 87 strength. Uh, 87 finesse move, just a really a defensive end here, but I think I'm going to end up having to go with Kiko Alonso in the middle and really secure my, my linebacking core. Let's see, I got Brandon Spikes here. He's a great user player. Not really a lot of speed here, so I'm not, gonna really, not really liking that. Uh, I really like Paul Kruger. But I'm probably going to have to go with DeWan Landry, unfortunately. He does have that almost 80 zone coverage uh, and, and uh, also has 85 hit power, so we're going to go with DeWan Landry in this one. In this scenario, let's we'll see what we got here. Ezekiel Ansah or Reggie Nelson for me in this one. Let's see. Stefan Tulk, not really good speed. Ezekiel Ansah has great speed, great strength, uh, great acceleration, great power moves. Really a no brainer. I'm going to take Ezekiel Ansah on this one. I uh, really like that pickup for me, in my opinion. It's a really good pickup. Jeremy Hill, uh, 93 trucking. I really like that. Corey Graham has that 90 zone coverage, though, and I really think his own coverage is really good and needed for my scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and take Corey Graham. Uh, I really draft more defensively, I tend to. So Let's see here. we got Michael Crabtree with 87 catching traffic, or we got Sharif Floyd. But as you can see here from my defensive tackle position, I've got Nick Fairley and Marcel Darius already uh, earlier on in the draft. And um, Steven Jackson here, he's got 97 carry. Only 83 speeds, though, so I think I'm going to have to end up going with Michael Crabtree. I already have Mike Evans. So now I've got two really pretty good receivers here, uh, and we'll see. I've got a couple more picks here, a couple more options. I'm going to go ahead and take this DeMarco Murray, probably. Uh, like I said, this catch in traffic, 90, only, ca only 90 catch in traffic from Calvin Johnson. It's not really enough for me, uh, but I really am pretty impressed with the this Anthony Sherman card. You get 97 run block, uh, but not really a great catch rating. So we're going to go with DeMarco Murray in this instance. Got a nice running back for me, and I got a nice little two-back combo. Uh, and then we get Le'Veon Bell. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to grab him. Uh, this is round 14 of 15. I'm going to take a chance here. Uh, I'm probably going to have to grab Brady because I don't have a quarterback. Uh, I don't really want Brady, but I said I don't really have another option. Um, I really want to grab this Von Miller card, uh, but I really, you know, I, I don't really need another linebacker, so I'm going to have to go with what I need here and pick up Thomas Brady. And then uh, let's see what I got for my last pick here. Uh, ooh, I could have got Christian Akuye. I should have held off for him. Uh, look at that, 99 trucking. I'm going to go ahead and take him. Uh, I'm going to do a little two-back system here. Like I said, we're secure on the outside of our linebacking core and our defensive line. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and take Christian Akuye. We, got, we actually drafted three running backs here. Uh, so going to be a really run-heavy offense for us. And we're going to go ahead and take him into battle with us. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. So we'll take Christian Okoye into battle, and we'll start our championship run here. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, I need to go ahead and play my game. Play my draft champions game. I'm going to press X to find my game, and we'll see how we do. 
uh, guys, while we're searching for the game here, I just want to let you know, guys, that we will be bringing you daily Madden content it's all throughout the season. Madden 16 season, we will be bringing you content after content. And I hope you guys are really excited, as excited as I am, to really see where we can go with this. Uh, I've got some really good tips and stuff out there for you already on how to play the game, how to pick it up, and really have some good plays and what, make them fit together really nicely for you. Uh, here I'm working on getting you some gameplay out from the JAF Champions mode, uh, and then also some Madden Ultimate Team gameplay as well with all the schemes and things that I've been uh, showcasing. So while you know, while it has been kind of hectic here with a day one launch, and this week the whole week will be hectic as I kind of put everything together and format what I'm going to do this season. Uh, but this is a really in my opinion, it's going to be a really good uh, video for you guys, so I really hope that you enjoy this content. If you do enjoy it, be sure to subscribe for more. Like I said, the videos are very frequent on this channel. Uh, we try to get them up at least once a day, uh, if not more than that. So, um, But here we are. We're going to roll with our Dallas Cowboys. We're going into battle against the Atlanta Falcons. Draft Champions Game 1, and uh, let's see what we can do here. And we're off. And we're going to play this Draft Champions Game Mode. And we'll see what we can do here with our, our new team. Um, the philosophy for me o opening up early is, is really to kind of bend but don't break defensively. And and we'll see how we can do with that. we got a 3-4 playbook. I've been really leaning more towards the 4-3 uh, this season. So I'm going to have to kind of live out of this 2-4-5 double gap here. And uh, we're going to come out in this outside dog. I feel like you have the most uh, options here. And we're going to zone off Landry. And a little pressure. And what a catch there by that. Nice little aggressive catch by my opponent. And we're probably going to get a lot of that, so let's see what we can't do something about it here. Probably going to go right back to him. And we couldn't get the pick there, unfortunately. Brent Grimes. On the outside there, like I said, I like to come out in the uh, the strong safety dog, outside dog here. Uh, it gives my both corners blitz and gives me opportunity to set up pressure from both sides. And we're looking to send that left side pressure here. We got that nice gap pressure from Ezekiel Ansah with that great acceleration at the quarterback. Now we've got him in a nice hole here, third and long. And we're going to send that pressure again. And we don't get the show blitz look. We've got to get that show blitz look down. Send that pressure off that left edge. Make him roll to his right. Let's see what he can do in the pocket. Uh, and we're going to come up and make a tackle. Right there, I'm kind of all right with giving that up to Cam. Um, and now I've got a chance to lock up short here. We're going to go cover three here, protect the sticks. I'm going to use her over the middle. And we weren't able to, unfortunately, we weren't able to come down on that one. This guy's coming at a really heavy pace here for us. Mm. I'm going to send the pressure from the right. Got a little runoff tackle here to Darren Sproles, looks like, or Bobby Rainey, or whoever he's bringing at us. And oh, a lot, of, a lot of aggressive catches here on that outside, so may try to tank that with a little cover one action. Try to collapse that pocket here. A little inside give. And that's what I really like about this nickel 245 double A gap. I feel like it does a really good job uh, against offenses that really like to run the football more than they like to pass it. Uh, here we're going to go with that cover two, that bracketed coverage over the top here. And I'm going to look to get at the middle here. And we're trying to move our backers here. Get that pinch line for that pressure out the middle. Nice passing lanes. And there we are, fourth down. End up getting a conversion defensively. Now we're going to get the ball here. Uh, we've got our, see here, what we've got. I don't really know the form, the playbook we're using. It says the multiple offensive playbook. Um, 
Let's see if we got any good pistol formations. Normally they have these. Got the gun doubles. We got the gun trips. Gun bunch is kind of my baby. I really enjoy this formation. So we'll see if we can't work this with our, our running back. Like I said, we got a good running game here. I feel like our offense is really loaded. We got a great quarterback, a, a nice running back here, and so we should be good here. We got a nice little package here. We don't got great quick audibles, unfortunately, so we're going to have to kind of really live with what we come out in. Uh, Christian Okoye at running back, really kind of going to pound him a lot today. Uh, you'll see a lot of him. Don't have my favorite bunch play. We got the tight, we got the double stack. We got that doubles offset. I think I'm going to try to run this tray open and use the trap play. If they have that trap play, we could use it. Don't look like they got it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come out with a, just a basic inside zone here. Take advantage of the trucking ability of Akuye. We got backed off corners at the outside here. Let's see what he can do in the trucking category. He's got that 99 truck. I'm really gonna try to like lean on that. See what we got out of that wide trip. So I'm looking for a little trap play or a little outside run. Not find it. Not really finding anything. Maybe those doubles flex. I think we're in the Tennessee Titans offensive playbook. So. Got the inside zone. We got the Z spot. We're going to look to try to hit the 0 1 trap right down the middle here. And we got stood up. And we're going to have to go ahead and go for this one. I think we can get it. Uh, with a quick pass here. A big catch there from Mike Evans for us. And we're going to try to quick snap a little inside zone here if we can. Probably not going to be able to get it. Uh, I think we might. And we do get that inside zone handoff. Christian Okoye right at the gut for five or six. And I think we're going to have to live under center in this game because we're not not a ton of great gun plays. We're going to try this strong. I like this inside zone split from the strong tight pair out of the Tennessee playbook. And we'll see what we can do pounding the rock with the Okoye here. Power that rock there to Okoye. And I'll run audible down as this power O. We're going to take a little shot play here on first down. We're going to try to hit uh, Mike Evans over the top. We got a one on one. And we better be able to come down with that one. Big Mike Evans making a big play for us there. And a nice little offensive drive right now for us, running the football, being consistent, uh, taking what the defense gives us here. Koye power in for four. See what we got in our iPhone. We got this iPhone Pro tw Twins. It's probably going to be my formation here. Is this Pro Twins with that post wheel play and then the stretch? Our run out ball down is a blast. A really good setup of plays here. Um, we're going to go ahead and take this blast. We're going to use Mike Evans as a little motion player too. Get that handoff. Get some extra blocks. Get some extra blocks there for Koye to move. All right. This situation we need a quick. Hitting play, we're going to do a little quick snap throw zig pattern. Couldn't get the pass off. Tom Brady threw a low pass. And we're going to probably take our three here. So a good opening drive. Um, didn't end right in the way we wanted it to. It was a little mini mistake here. But we do get three points, and uh, we're going to... Give him the ball back, two-minute warning, two-minute drill time. Probably going to see some more of those lob pass streaks. Uh, if we do see some more of those, we'll probably take advantage of our two-man under defense, try to get some uh, some of that working for us uh, in this situation. I want to show you a little package. Show this 3-4 even here. And well, Let's see what we can do. Got that. I split on the right. Uh, I should have got a pick, man. Mar Marcel Darius is right in the area. Get 
back in our two four five A gap. So let's cover two here. And for some reason, Landry did not go after the ball. Um, not really much I can do on that one. Here we're going to do a little cover one. No over top. We're going cover zero here. Uh, and we're going to go up top. And we're going to get that nice pick from Johnson. Trumaine Johnson with a big play for us. Um, just a really big time play right there. We got a little ace pair chief here from the Titans book. We're probably sick in this one. Um, really like this four verticals play. So let's see what they've got from this play playbook. We only got the zone weak here. Don't have the stretch though. That's kind of unfortunate. We're gonna try and take a little shot play here to the to this wheel route. We'll take our little check down there to stud field. We're gonna have to go no huddle. And uh, I think he was off sides there, so we just throw a little quick pass to get our five yards, save some clock. And uh, let's see, we got this little Chiefs underplay as a little quick snap throw type of offense here. Trying to take a shot, though, up top. Let's check the safety here. We got single coverage over the top. We end up taking a big sack and just kind of really unfortunate because it puts us in a tough situation here. Um, we hit Okoye in the flat. Okoye is going to make a big run for us, getting upfield. Big time run by Christian Okoye there on a, a, a really long yard situation for us, and that's why we picked him up. Take a little in pattern. We got that single high. I'm gonna try to go up and get it. Crabtree cannot make the play, unfortunately. Let's see what we can do off this little play action. Uh oh, bad throw by Brady. Had him thrown on the run, unfortunately. Just a poor, 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 poor play by me. Third down and long here. We need a big play. And a terrible pass by Brady. It's going to bring up fourth down. We're going to go ahead and go for this one just to kind of show you some more gameplay. Really trying to get this uh, mowed down good. And I just want to kind of go for it just because I want to here. So let's see what we're going to do. We're going to try to hit Evans here on this out pattern. And a big catch by James Hanna. Calm and patient in the pocket for Brady. And a nice catch by freaking James Hanna there. Here we are. About 15 seconds here. I'm mainly looking field goal and try to power it with my main back here, Christian Okoye. Got two timeouts left, so that means I got couple plays here, a couple quick plays. Um, just want some quick hitting plays to get us some better field goal range. With one time out here, I really can't run the ball. So I'm going to look to pass. I'm going to look to try to take a shot play deep. And so I'm going to go ahead and block my running back. My tight end, put him on a little drag pattern. And we're looking at the safeties here. And there, Crabtree just cannot come down with it for us. And we're going to try to do a quick little run play. And we got one second left. We're just trying to throw a little quick out to see if we could potentially hit that. But we're going to have to take our three here. Max power kick here. 
Nice kick by our kicker. I think we're going to go ahead and make that field goal. So nice, nice, nice offense for us there. A couple closing plays. Some big plays by our stars in the game here. And um, got us in a good situation here to get a W here with the ball. And we're going to get uh, a one possession lead. So let's see what we can do here. And uh, we're going to get some decent field position. And uh, you're going to see more of the same in the second half. A lot of uh, what you're going to see from us tonight is uh, a lot of this halfback runs, halfback stretch plays, halfback zone weeks. Those are kind of my bread and butter. And we're going to see if we can't get some big yardage here from Koye. We've got a seal here, a seal there. We're going to get outside. And Koye is going to pick up a big first down for us. And we're going to power him. We're going to run him until he can't run anymore. So... Let's see what we've got here. Come out in our Chiefs underplay. This is the package we got here. And we'll see what we can do from it. Looks like he's going to leave that run open to the right side of the field. The playmaker that zone weak. And a uh, nice block shed there by that guy. Right now we're sitting right about four yards of carry. Not too shabby. Take Crabtree out here and put him on that stick route. Nice little catch by Koye getting upfield for us. This is a simple West Coast style offense passing system we're looking at here. Trying to get those easy yardage. Third and four, we're going to run that zone weak. Uh, Koye is going to get bottled up. Only got a yard for us. I think we're going to take that run again, though. We look. I feel like we really got a chance to bust one. Fourth and two. And a big stop by him on that one. Big time stop by him. Big tackle in the open field by that guy. Really kind of meeting the Koye right in the hole and, and taking advantage of it. Try to send that pressure off that left side. Newton's going to roll. Try to get a big hit stick. we got to fumble the balls out, and somehow Cam Newton recovers. We'll send that pressure off that edge. And somehow, what a catch. Wow. What a catch by that guy. So far, I really like this mode. I feel like it's simple. It's easy for me to play, and I uh, hope it's something you guys like, too. I really enjoy it. Pinch that line down. We got Phillips. Got a little runoff tackle. Cannot tackle Adrian Peterson in the open field, and he's going to go in for six, and we're now in a bad spot. So we went once had a one-possession lead with the ball, and now we're down a possession. <laughs> What a play by him. What a way to get back in the game. We'll see what we can do now with the ball and hopefully the offense can move a little better. Really don't like the playbook I got, I'll be honest with you. Not a whole lot of great plays from it. and uh, Just not something I'm accustomed to using. So Got Arenas here. Love the spin moves. Not quite as effective as they were last year. All right, so we're going to try and work out of this eight close and really try to work this zone weak run. Um, try to really use this tight slots formation as well. I think the formation actually changes, and that will be an issue if it does. You see it does change for us. So I'm not a big fan of that, but it's something we're going to have to work with. We've got a Koye on the outside there. And, ah, shoestring tackle. Tough, tough, tough. All right, well, back to the passing game we go. Krishna Koya, our star, has been bottled up. A really tough, tough game for him. And a nice little play by Crabtree there for us. Big catch and run by Crabtree after the catch there to get us in a situation. We could probably pick this third down up. We're going to try and give it to our main man, Akoye, here in this clutch situation. We'll see if he can get us some yardage. 
And McCoy powers for a what should be a first down, but it was not. And here we are again. Going to power him right up the middle. Really work for that first down. Now we're going to take a little shot play here and try to hit one of our guys deep. First down. Lob it up for Crabtree, and what a catch by Crabtree for us. Very pretty throw by Brady, and Crabtree making a big-time play and a big-time moment to get us a first down and 10. And we'll see. We can get, we're going to have to go back to this I-Form Twins. We been having some trouble with that ace twins not having some good really good runs from it and we really need that running game to work and just simply quite frankly did not work really well for us in that situation so here we come out in that I form going to be more of a power based running system and a big run for Akoye there big run for Akoye breaking through finally and uh, now I think we've kind of got it figured out the way we're going to work this offense uh, late in the game is uh, really essential to get this figured out for us. Back to that blast. you got to be patient this year in your offensive running system. And uh, a big, and a, another thing that you have to do, as we just saw there, you need to use your truck right before you get hit. Don't try to come into them and truck them, but right before you get hit, use that truck rating. And here I think we got a chance to bust this stretch out wide. We're going to go ahead and power it. Unfortunately, a block shed here, a block shed there. We only got a one-yard gain. Here's a Koye, third down and short. This is where he's got to make his money. Power it in for a first down. Nice run for a Koye there. And here we're going to attempt to hit Crabtree in the back of the end zone. Let's see what we got here. Crabtree, money, and he dropped it for us. What a play by that guy. And we're going to come out in this fate smash. We're going to try and try and hit our uh, our guy here, Crabtree, again. And we're going to have to actually audible down here into a running position. This is a situation we need some, some tough yardage. There's Frank Gore, our second pick there, getting some yardage for us. Let's see, we got a third and eight here. Going up for that aggressive catch, and Crabtree drops it again, and we are going to have to take a field goal. Uh, I was really hoping Crabtree would go up and make a play for us. Unfortunately, dropped it. Maybe if Evans would have been in there, he would have made that play for us. So now it's all up to the defense to get us a stop here and, and uh, get us a, our first win here in the Draft Champions game mode. Uh, like I said, it's been a great game mode so far. I hope you guys really like it. And almost lost a kick return there, a big kick return. And now that really puts our defense in a tough position. Uh, in this situation, I'm going to check down into the 3-4 over formation. Use my sting pinch scheme here. And we'll see what we can do and accomplish. And a big catch there by Peterson. He runs that same play. We're going to have that covered. And we got a big pick by Kiko Alonso there with a sting pinch blitz. And what a play by Kiko Alonso right there for us. Nice play. We're going to go ahead and get down. Don't want to risk anything. And we're going to go ahead and try to run, work the rest of this clock out with Christian Okoye fresh and back at the running back position. A big, big, big time play for us by our, uh, our middle linebacker. The guy we almost didn't pick ends up making a great play for us towards the end of this game. There's Christian Okoye powering forward. Ends up getting stood up and slammed back, but... Got a, before a quick four-yard run there by him. Uh, try to break this toss here, really break the back of the defense. Let's see what we can do. The toss to the outside. Okoye breaking tackles, pushing forward. A big game by him. Uh, a tough game so far, but really starting to kind of come on here late for us. And 
defense holding tight for us and just a really good overall performance here by the Cowboys today uh, in their draft champions game. There's a Koye. Whoa, look at a Koye get in the end zone there for a big run. What a play by Christian Okoye. Wow. The wow factor, guys. Okoye came to play today, boys. And go for two here. Try to make it a 10-point game. Two possessions. Try and break a toss here with Gore. We got a toss. We got to get to that outside. We got to get in. We're going to walk right in with Franklin Gore. Big time. Big time possession and score there by us, leaving him with one minute 38 of defense. He has had a tough time scoring against, and a really big time run there by Koye, really breaking the back of the defense late, and that's what a big power back will do for you. Uh, what a great pickup it was to go ahead and grab Christian Koye, who had a lot of trouble early, but it's really come on late for us. And we're going to come out in this nickel. 2-4-5 prowl defense here. Try and send that pressure. Try and really kind of get that outside pressure to keep him in that pocket. And we're going to play the wide receiver there and knock it out of his hands as he comes down big time. Really enjoying this real quick here. Let's see what we can do with this prowl bear too. And what we're going to really do is we're going to man up on that outside. And we're going to use our control. It's like a two-man under with a little pressure in behind it. When we're going to try and go up and get a pick, and somehow he comes down with that one. What a play. And wow. A lot of rocket catches here. Uh, too bad he doesn't have our tip on how to rocket catch. You can see that on the channel. I feel like my rocket catch is very, uh, very effective with the specific route we use to rocket catch. And we're going to play that over the top coverage. Got that two man on him. We get a big pick there by Corey Graham, and that should do it for us. Christian Okoye is going to run the clock out for us. I think we may get a quit and a really, really good opening game here for you guys to watch. Hope it was fun.